Hey guys, so we're here in California, hence the sweat dripping down our faces. We're actually in LA in the California Dreaming poster Ooh. right there. And we were thinking on this trip about all the other trips that we've been on recently and just, you know, reflecting on all of our memories from them. I mean, do you guys ever get a sudden rush of emotion when you think back on a cherished memory or some relationship you had in the past? Or even like a mix of happiness and sadness when you hear an old favorite song? <laughs> Most of us have experienced nostalgia in one way or another, but its function from a scientific perspective might actually surprise you. So, is nostalgia important? Or should we try and forget the past? In the 17th century, nostalgia was considered a neurological disorder of demonic origins, but eventually studies began to reveal that it was a universal feeling felt across the entire globe and in children as young as seven. These feelings are often triggered by negative events or feelings of loneliness, but people often associate them with feeling better despite their bittersweet nature. In fact, nostalgia has been shown to directly counteract loneliness, boredom, and anxiety. Couples feel closer when they share nostalgic memories, people become more generous to strangers and believe it or not nostalgia literally makes you feel warmer when you're cold remember we used to frolic in the pasture that was so fun those memories were so great we were young. it's like stinking hot in here overall it can make life feel more meaningful and help people cope with their fear of death like me i have a crushing fear and anxiety of death as i think most people do and it does actually really help me when i think about like my first celine dion concert because that can alleviate that tension that feels when you know like we're gonna all die one day looking back fondly over memories and experiences somehow creates optimism for the future to test these effects researchers actually purposefully induce negative moods in their subjects by showing them awful things for example natural disasters or heartbreaking events what is sarah mclaughlin doing to these animals someone help them. Following this, they trigger nostalgic events in the participants, which has been shown to actually reduce the feelings of loneliness and depression. Of course, not all nostalgia makes you feel great. In fact, sometimes it can bring back feelings of pain and make you miss the past. But after methodically analyzing many studies, researchers believe that the positive effects of nostalgia greatly outweigh the negative ones. Especially when participants weren't comparing the past to now, but instead were simply reflecting on it. One of the best ways to actually induce nostalgia is through listening to music. It can bring you back to a time in the past through a slew of emotions. This seriously works, it's what I do every time I go traveling and is what sparked the idea for this episode. So what I do is I listen to a specific new album or song while traveling to another country. Then I stop listening to the song after the trip ends and then in the future when I listen to that song it reflects and takes me right back to the feeling I had when I was traveling. For example, when we were traveling in India, that Robin song, what was it called, what was it called? Do it again. Do it again came out, we listened to it over and over and now it reminds me of like being on the beaches of India. And also when I traveled in Iceland, which is an amazing place where everyone needs to go, I've been four times because Bjork's from there. I listened to Doing It Right by Daft Punk and it still transports me to that and I realized both of those songs are like doing it again and doing it right. <laughs> I don't know why. Interestingly, researchers found that not only does nostalgic music make people feel warmer, but people in cold environments are also more likely to experience nostalgia, which suggests that nostalgia had some evolutionary advantage for our ancestors. Do you want some ice? <laughs> Do you remember that time we went to that music festival and it was so wild? Which blows my mind. By evoking positive memories, the human body can create a sense of physical comfort, at least subjectively. If this is true, it's an incredibly complex adaptation for humans, whether it helps us to look for food longer or push through pain. From a more existential perspective, it actually gives us purpose. Studies have shown that people who engage in nostalgia more often are better at dealing with the concept of death because reflecting on their life seems to give them more meaning and more purpose. By focusing on what we've accomplished or remembering the first time we tried something or thinking about the relationships we've had, it actually helps us to seem as though life is worth living as opposed to seeming pointless. At the end of the day, while it's not always healthy to look on the past and think, um, life was so much better, scientists do suggest that we use nostalgia to reflect on how meaningful life is. Don't try and forget the past because revisiting it from time to time can make a better future. We want to send a special thanks to TV Bank for supporting this video and they actually took the idea of nostalgia to the next level by turning the average day at the bank into the ultimate throwback. Hashtag TBT, which is another indication of the importance of nostalgia because everyone likes a good TBT. You can check out their latest TD Thanks You video by clicking on the screen or using the link in the description. Don't forget you can follow us both on Instagram and Twitter to follow our travels around the world. Um, subscribe to see new videos every Wednesday and we'll see you on the weekend for the vlog. Peace! Peace.
Okay, this is crazy. Look at what my shirt says. So one way of explaining desire is in terms of nostalgia. <laughs> that was coincidence. Why didn't even put that? Literally there. coincidence. I bought this in Japan. That makes sense, right? I was always like, was it Japanese translation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like kind of almost doesn't make sense. But 